Hey Scorpio, it's going to be a love reading for you guys, okay? General love reading. All right, somebody wants to reconcile with you guys. Give me one second. Right out of the gate, somebody misses you and they cannot stop thinking about you, okay? Oof. Hold on a minute. There's some Seven of Cups energy here. Scorpio energy here. Three of Cups energy here. Show me more here. So this person has been thinking about you, maybe even dreaming about you. You could be thinking about them or dreaming about them. And I feel like if you're thinking of this person, because it looks like you're, the two of you are not talking right now. You're you're not in current uh, communication, okay? Like, there's you don't talk to this person every day, all right? Um, ooh, who is sending you the evil eye? There are some jealous energies around you. There is some jealous. People are talking about you collective. They're talking about how good you look. They're talking about how well you're doing. They're talking about how happy you are. They are talking about how you love yourself, how you carry yourself, how you're very attractive, male or female, on the inside and the outside. Because it's not just about the outside here. Because we have energy of growth. We have empress energy here, okay? You are someone here with style and poise, okay? Whether you're male or female, you carry yourself with dignity and you carry yourself with respect here. You have encouraged this person to look deep inside themselves and over, overcome some form of illusion because it looks like this person was in some form of Seven of Cups energy. I don't know if this person was, if this is self-delusion or if this is like wearing ro rose-colored glasses, but like fear could have been holding this person back from seeing the truth. They did not, I believe, see or understand Listen, this could be internal influences, okay, coming from within this person, or I feel like there's some strong energy of other people talking. This pe this person cares about what other people have to say, how something is going to look. So there could be a third party situation here for some of you guys, or this person just cares about what their family or what their friends have to say, or they may be with another person right now, right? Just apply this to where it fits. And, and, and this person was in this illusion of like not really understanding what the connection was. They knew there was a strong, passionate bond between the two of you. They know they can't stop thinking about you. But there was this person at the time was unable to see the truth of the real connection. They just weren't able to see it. And so now that you two are not speaking and you're not in any communication and you're not seeing this person on a regular basis or you're not talking to this person on a regular basis, because to me, you pull back your energy, eight of cups. You just walked away from it, right? And everybody's different, you know, reasons for walking away are going to be different. I definitely feel like one or two of the reasons is either third party influences this person was unable to make their own decision they were allowing other people to influence what they did to to be quite honest the, you know the thing is is this person is now realizing like what the two of you could have done together now they feel like if the, two of you, if the two of you were to just get back together, that you would be unstoppable, that you would be this power couple, right? This power couple energy here. Oh, boy. They can't stop thinking about you and dreaming about you. You know. Hmm. You get but This person gets butterflies when they think about you or you get butterflies when you think about them. Mm. you know I don't know who is sending you this evil eye energy this could just be a side note on you know other people around you that may not even have anything to do with this connection but for some of y'all I feel like this person may have thought like you know pe some people in the background could have been telling your person like oh the collective is is you know you're you're not good enough for them or they only want you for this or they, they, I just feel like people were trying to talk your person out of really coming towards you and really being with you they were being extremely negative a lot of people had things to say but I feel like you turned your back to this you did your your own work you're focused on yourself and what you have going on i don't i feel like you're really unaffected by this 
this to be quite honest you're just you're good look at this look at this energy this is empress energy here all day every day like but they want to people want to because people see you in this star energy and this six of wands energy they want to send you the evil eye you know what i'm saying and then people want to talk and gossip and i feel like you know this person too could be text like reading old text messages and going over old conversations the two of you have like when they're reading the text messages they get butterflies just really thinking about you um this person really is wishing that you would call them or text them okay so there is getting ready to be some kind of miracle or some form of divine intervention that's going to push the two of you back together i don't know if you know that or not but that i'm just telling you you know or your person is in this illusion some of y'all are like no i don't want to reunite with, with this person i'm done i've moved on i'm not the same person anymore we would be a good match but uh your person still feels like for those of you who, who feel that way you don't want this person back your person it still feels like the two of you will come back together i just want you to know that they are still holding on yeah telepathy they are literally dreaming and thinking about you in the uh, 5D, okay? This person wants to know, do, do you hear them talking to you? Do you, do, are you dreaming about them? You know, they want to, they want to know if you're feeling it. They want to know if you're feeling the same thing too. They know you're over the games. They do. They know that you're not going to accept less than what you deserve here. They know that. So why hasn't this person come towards, yeah, see, this person sabotaged. They with, for some of y'all, this person withheld love from you because they felt insecure. Like I said, right, this is definitely like self-doubt. And I feel like this had nothing to do with you. So, you know, this person feels like they can't come towards you and step towards you unless they really unless they really get their act together for some of y'all you're really over it and you're not going to go back to this but this person continues to fantasize about what the two of you this person really feels like i'm telling you if you give them another chance that you can have a family you could be a power couple they fantasize about having children buying a home together like taking vacations together vacations like they they said they know they sabotage this and this is what they're where they are now with this whole situation Show me more here, please. Yeah. <sighs> you know, this person's problem, they're coming across as a king of swords. So this person could be a Gemini, Libra, or an Aquarius. This is somebody here who overthinks a lot of stuff, which is why they sabotage stuff so freaking much, right? They think everything is black and white. You know what I mean? They see everything as they try to be as realistic as possible. So when they met you, they felt like it was a dream. It wasn't real, you know, but you open this person up, collectors. You open this person up and realize that they, you made them realize they could have something that was given to them by the divine. You know what I mean? Like they know that you're a beautiful person. Remember when I said you're beautiful inside and out? This card literally says you are beautiful inside and out. I stare at your pictures all day long. I told you this person is going through your text messages or they're reading something. They're looking at like they and they're getting butterflies just reading it or looking at it. Definitely in a fantasy world right now. Okay. And to be honest, you're looking real good to them. They can't resist you. I don't know how much longer this person is going to be able to hold back from you. Okay. And you're the best that they've ever had. So what is this person's next action here? Yeah, I'm telling you, the more this person stares and thinks about you and fantasizes about you, the more that they feel like they want to come towards you. They love you and adore you, actually. Secretly, their heart is like yearning and crying out for you. So what, what what's this person's next actions here? I want to know more about this gossip energy though in a minute. So the divine masculine. Ooh, you guys, your divine masculine might have some form of psychic ability. They definitely didn't trust their intuition and trust, you know, they didn't they didn't allow their intuition to guide them. It was fear. They were nervous. They didn't think what you were was real. They thought 
you were showing, you know how when you meet somebody, they're just like, when you first meet them, they show their representative. And then after you get to know them for like six months or so, then they realize like, oh, this is the real person. They thought that you were just going to be somebody else. Like they didn't realize the representative that when you showed up at early, who, that's who you were. That's really who you were. Um, and to some degree, you kind of intimidate them just a little bit. I'm just going to keep it real here. You know, you make this person very nervous, very nervous here. Interesting. Yeah. They're ready to take some form of action. This is good. Divine masculine is here. Okay. They're ready to trust their intuition. And you know, what's so crazy is they actually um, feel like your intuition is pretty strong too. They definitely have some gifts here, but they know you have these gifts too, which is why you make them so nervous because they know they can't come towards you and tell a lie. You know, they know they got to be honest with you if they come back, you know. Uh -oh. So now they're aware of what's going on, what type of connection the two of you have. They miss you. They're thinking about you quite a bit. And now this person is in their feelings and they feel guilty for their self-sabotaging behavior. They feel guilty for listening to other people. They feel guilty for not realizing what they had when they found you, you know, and not treating you as such. And now they're unhappy with this whole entire situation, the way things turned out. I definitely think this person had other people in their ear. Yeah. For a lot of you, they had a third party in their ear. They did. They definitely had more than one option when you met this person. They were hiding that. Okay. They were hiding that. Because there is another energy, another energy interfering in this connection. Okay. Somebody thought they were competition. Who thought they were competition. And they really are not any competition, to be honest. You know, this masculine was really feeling himself, I feel like, or herself, because they had more than one option. It's kind of giving me like, oh, I'm the I'm the prize. That's Simone Biles' husband. Like, who is he? That's Simone Biles' husband. <laughs> like, nobody really knew who this person was because Simone Biles is a star. And then Simone Biles' husband was saying like, oh, well, I'm the catch. You know what I'm saying? Like, uh, that's kind of the energy here that I'm getting from this. So this person is realizing all these other people were not who they, they were just, yeah, player came out. I told you, look at that. All these other people were, were just karmics. They were just time place. They were placeholders. Thank you, spirit. They were placeholders. These people were in placeholders. This person was immature. This person lacked emotional intelligence. I'm telling you, all they did was south. They wanted to play games. They wanted to self-sabotage. See, there were some people around. I feel like your person, for some of y'all, this is not for everybody. <coughs> Excuse me. There were some people around you, your person who, <coughs> this divine masculine, who were just, they saw who you were and they tried to convince they, it's almost like they supported this person's behavior to just continue to date around and, oh, do you, you should just, you know, see multiple people. You don't need to settle down for whatever reason or this other person's better. No, no, that's not true. Hmm. Mm -hmm. I told you 5D. They're thinking about you in the 5D, dreaming about you. They're realizing it. I'm telling you. I'm telling you, this person, this person, you could be dealing with a Pisces here. Um, this person, this perception is changing before they weren't able to see. And now they want to apologize for you for not seeing your worth. They are going through some form of spiritual detox right now, releasing these negative thoughts, trying to work on. They're realizing how they self-sabotage this. That they're realizing this was really their fault. So now they're going through a spiritual awake, a uh, uh, spiritual, a major spiritual awakening, a uh, uh, rebirth, death, and rebirth energy here. Scorpio energy is here. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, transformation. Thank you, spirit. That's what I'm saying. They are. They're they're ready to start making better choices. 
they're ready to transform into their higher self to be with you. Their arrogance was in the way. Leo energy here. They allowed their pride and ego to get in the way. I, didn't I say this? This card literally says, I thought I was the catch. This card literally says, I thought this I was the catch. But now they're realizing, watching you, some of you, they're watching you on Facebook or TikTok or, you know, they're watching you on Instagram, somewhere on social media, wherever you have your platform. And it's part of their daily ritual to go on that platform. They might have a fake account, so you may not even know it. Some of you guys do know that, but now it's a habit. It's a daily ritual for them to go check your social media and see what you're doing and how you're looking. And they are highly impressed and now they're feeling like a complete fool. There is not a day that does not go by. This person does not think about you or is not checking your social media. I'm telling you. Let me get a few more here. Yeah, this person's about to speak up. This person is not going to let you go. They're not that you're going to hear from this person very soon. They don't want you to speak up. Knight of Cups energy here. Let me tell you what this person's getting ready to do. It's this is this is like a person showing up to your apartment and throwing a rock on your apartment or showing up playing some song, some music or some song. Somebody wants to sing something for you, play a song for you. Somebody here could play a guitar. Someone here could be a singer or some form of performer. If they're not a singer or a performer, they want to ro they want to romance you. Like they want to wine and dine and romance you. Like you inspire this person creatively in some way. Like you, some of you all may have inspired this person to chase their dreams, to do something that they have been afraid to do. I feel like you guys showed up and you were very, um, ooh, for some of y'all, if you're dealing with somebody who's a performer, you didn't trust them. Interesting. But this person knows that they lied to you in the past and you don't trust them and, and, and they're afraid that you'll never trust them again. Yeah. All right, so is this person still with this third party? Is this person still with this third party? That's what we want to know. Mm. Is this person still with this third party? Pisces energy is out here. Capricorn energy is out here. And a Knight of Wands. I feel like they're still with this third party. And they may even try to come towards you and try to work it out and and they're hiding the fact that they're still with this other person I feel like three of pentacles nine of wands I don't know I'm just saying hmm they do want a new passionate beginning with you here Okay, uh, Ace of Wands. What, what is this High Priestess here? Clarify the High Priestess. Page of Pentacles. Okay. They, okay, Eight of Pentacles, Ten of Swords. They, they know they broke your heart. They know they betrayed you. They, um, they want to work on this. They want to talk to you about that. They want to communicate that to you. You could be dealing with a younger fire sign here or an air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Eight of Pentacles. They want to work on things. They know they broke the trust. They know um, they held a lot of secrets from you. They know they held back. They know they only gave you a little bit. They were hot and cold in and out, right? Um, they're do trying to work on that. Queen of Pentacles with the Ace of Cups. Um, after this Ace of Wands and this hair font. So I do feel like, you know, um, they, you know, they want a new passionate beginning, beginning here with you, with this Ace of Wands and this Ace of Cups being here. I, they do value you as someone who has a lot to offer. They see you as somebody they can settle down with and marry, marry okay? Because look at this, you know what I'm saying? So... Let's see what this person wants to say to you. What does this person want to say to the collective? Yeah. They want to know, can you talk? 
Can we talk? I've changed my mind. See what I'm saying? They're trying to double back to you. The sex is amazing. They're definitely thinking about sex here. But there's still some indication of them still doing some funny shit in the background. So be careful with this, okay? For those of you who are going to take this person back. Because we have keep your options open here. Okay, so they may try to come back towards you and they haven't fully let go of that other situation or they may feel like you're going to decide to keep your options open. I'm not sure, but pay attention because there is a, a chance um, that this person, I feel like this person said something to you that they wish they could take back because we have the energy here of I didn't mean what I said. Remember, this person thought they were the catch. They were the pride and their ego. Right? They had multiple people available to them. But those other people didn't compare to you. And I, <laughs> they're still watching you, by the way. I, I am watching you, okay? They want to talk. But, yeah, don't listen to what people say. Look at that. They don't want you to listen to what other people say. Which is hilarious to me because they believe what other people had to say when other people said it to them. Did they not? They did. They listen to everybody else, but they don't want you to listen to anybody else. I don't know. I just be careful with this energy. You have free will, obviously, and just use your, you know, discernment here. Let's see what else. Yeah, this person broke a lot of promises. You're going to be in this energy of, you know what? You broke too many promises. I mean, you may not take this person back. And they feel like, well, you know, you're you're probably going to reject them. They feel like they may not even be enough or it may be too late, but you're going to be in this energy of like needing more time to heal. Okay. So this person wants you to know that they broke a lot of promises and they are sorry for that. And it was definitely their fault. They um, want you to know that it wasn't your fault, that you are enough. You're more than enough, okay, regardless of what this person says. And I feel like you guys know who you are either way. It's this person who doesn't realize who they are. They don't realize who they are. Now they're kind of coming into some form of confidence. That ego and that pride was a veil. It wasn't real. They were just using the ego and the pride as a, a superficial way of protecting themselves because they really didn't feel like they were the one who was enough, even though they were telling you or they felt like I got options. I'm the prize. All right, y'all. That's your reading. We got Cancer Pisces, Scorpio here, Strong Taurus, Strong Pisces. Okay, could be dealing with um, a younger Capricorn. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Um, but you could really be dealing with anybody here, okay? Leo, um, Scorpio, Seven of Cups energy. I'll see you guys later. Hit the like button. Bye.